8 SketchUp hacks to turn you into a pro sketcher upper -er. Welcome to today's video. I've got a special little video here for you. We've got 8 SketchUp hacks which are going to turn you into a pro sketcher upper. -er. This is from the free course 70 hacks for Archie students. If you haven't checked that out already, highly, highly recommend you check that out. You can go to SuccessfulArchieStudent.com to grab access to that. It's a free full course 70 hacks in there for architecture students. Let's look at some of these SketchUp hacks. Once you get access to it, I'm going to scroll down, go to the contents. Let's get into some SketchUp hacks. Let's have a look at the first one. We've got a site model in 30 seconds. Let's play this clip. So first things first, we want to open up SketchUp. I'm just using uh, SketchUp Pro. You can use this on SketchUp Make, the free version if you want. So um, it's really accessible to everybody. Um, you're going to start off by going to File, Geolocation, and then go Add Location. And you want to just try and pick out the spot that you want to get the terrain for and get a contour model of. Um, so I'm just going to go here somewhere in Nepal because there's um, a bunch of hilly spots there. I'm going to select the region. I'm just going to import it. Now we've just imported our map of the site. And all we have to do is go to File, Geolocation, Show Terrain. Now, as you can see, that's pretty gnarly, but um, depends what site you've got. It might not be this big. This is so, so, so useful when it comes to, you know, having to do a site model. Instead of having to model up all the contours and spending hours and hours, trust me, I've spent hours and hours making contour models, site models like this. When you can do it in 30 seconds with SketchUp, that's insane. That's an incredible tool to use. And if you're not using this already, now you know, hopefully you can take this into your projects, into your studio projects and model up some pretty cool contoured sites. So that was hack number 49. Moving on to hack number 50, the SketchUp hack 2. This is the plane locking hack. And a lot of people, a lot of beginners, I should say, uh, don't really know about this hack, but it's something that you need to know. It's something that's going to be really helpful. I say here, I remember modeling up my first projects in SketchUp and thinking, why the hell aren't my objects lining up? Why is it so hard to move everything in the spot that I want it to be in? And it's because I wasn't locking my planes when I was moving objects. What I mean by that is that SketchUp models up in a 3D space and you can move things all over the place and it's kind of difficult for SketchUp to know where you want to place stuff because it is this 3D modeling space. So what you need to do is you can use the arrow keys to lock onto a certain plane when moving an object or trying to place an object. By pressing the left arrow key, you lock to the green plane. By pressing the right arrow key, you lock to the red plane. And by pressing the up arrow key, you lock to the blue plane. So what I mean by that is the blue axes and the red axes. So that's something that's incredibly helpful. Please do utilize this hack. Moving on, we've got number 51, and these are five SketchUp extensions. This was by Show It Better by Steven Rubio from Show It Better. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel or his Instagram page, definitely go check him out. He does a lot of great posts, a lot of great videos, but he's got five extensions for us, and these are just helpful, helpful extensions that are gonna make your experiences with SketchUp a whole lot better. Using SketchUp by itself is pretty good. I won't lie, it's, it's pretty basic stuff. So by adding in these extra extensions, you're gonna be giving yourself a lot more powerful tools inside of SketchUp and it's going to make your modeling process a whole lot faster and better. Clean up three is something I talked about in one of my other videos. Uh, it helps you clean up and optimize your SketchUp models so they're not huge file sizes. You don't have um, kind of like leaky projects. What I mean by that is you, when you want to, when you model up a building, you want it to be watertight so that if you went to go 3D print it, it's going to actually have the structure and it's going to be able to 3D print efficiently. But if your project is leaky or it's not optimized, it hasn't been cleaned up with Cleanup 3, you're going to come across some errors. You're going to come across some problems with your model. So that's a good extension to have. I'm not going to go through all of them. I do use Fredo tools as well. That's pretty much just a whole list of different extensions inside one plugin. The one I use is Curvy Loft with Fredo tools and it helps you make a lot of curved uh, kind of geometries inside of SketchUp, which isn't something you can do natively with SketchUp. Rubio actually says here that SketchUp has extensions and it makes the software complete. Without extensions, SketchUp would pretty much be just like MS Paint, Microsoft Paint. Pretty basic tool for doing anything. So moving on, let's go to number 52. And this is how to do a section or a plan cut inside of SketchUp. This is something I do quite often in my studio projects. I'll often take a section or a plan cut of my model from SketchUp. And then I'll take that section or plan into Photoshop and then start drawing over the top of it and giving it textures and materials and um, post rendering, I guess you could say. This is one of the biggest 
things to take away from this video. If you don't know how to do this, definitely watch this video, which I'm going to play in a second, and utilize the hell out of this while you're in architecture school. When I'm talking about a sectional plan cut, what I'm talking about is something like, let me just put this one on, this plan cut here. It just slices through the building and that's how you can see inside the building. And so to create one of these, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is go up to the tools, um, the toolbar menu bar at the top here and go to section plane. And you might be thinking, this is quite difficult because you can't actually lock onto a plane and it's really, really weird trying to just get into a certain spot. What you can do though, a little tip to get around that is you can press the left, right or up arrow keys um, and they can lock onto the planes for you. So if you press the left arrow key, it locks onto the green plane, which makes it super easy just to slice through the building wherever you want. And there you have a nice section cut. However, let's say you want to do a plan cut through the building. All you'd have to do is go to the tools menu bar at the top here, go to section plane and press on the up arrow key. And then that locks onto the blue axis, which is um, how you will create a plan section cut through the building. Number 53, this is something that a lot of people don't know as well. It's something very basic. It's the array hack. So being able to array things once you place them. And quite often I'll be modeling something up in class in front of other students and they'll be like, wait a second, what did you just do there? Like, how did you just repeat that thing over and over and over? And it's the most simplest thing. All you have to do once you copy over an object is either hit the divide key or the times multiplier key, which is the backslash or the little star if you hit shift eight or command control eight, whatever it is on Mac, and then just typing however many that you want to array. Super powerful tool, not many people know about it, but now you do so you can utilize it. Let's move on to number 54, which is the perfect circle. Again, this is something not many people know about and it's not really something that you can learn just from working in SketchUp, it's something that you need to be told. So this is about creating a perfect circle. Starting up a new SketchUp file and just trying to create a circle, it's gonna give you like a weirdly hexagon looking thing it's going to give you a polygon. It's not going to be a proper circle because, you know, circles are made up of straight lines. However, the way SketchUp does it defaultly is that it, the number of defined edges of a circle is very low. So it might have 20 straight lines that make up the circle. And so you can obviously see those straight lines. However, if you tell SketchUp how many lines you want, then you can create more circular circles, if that makes sense. And so what you can do is you can create a circle. You can press the C key. Once you left click to create the circle, you can then type how many edges you want it to have. The higher the number, the more circular the circle is going to be. The lower the number, the more polygon polygonal the, <laughs> the circle is going to be. Otherwise, you can change the number of edges a circle has after you've created it by right clicking it and going into entity info. And so that's how you create the perfect circle. Let's move on to number 55. And this is how to animate any model in 60 seconds. I'm not gonna actually play this one for you because there is a full video uh, on my channel at the moment as well. The card will be up in the top corner. I always forget which side it's gonna be, but it's gonna be on one of those sides. Uh, that'll pop up. You can click and watch how to animate any SketchUp model in 60 seconds. And it does a section cut from one side to the other. You can do some other really, really cool advanced things with it, um, but definitely go watch that video. It's incredible the things you can do. I remember my second year studio, in my uh, studio four, my teacher showed my animation to the fifth year students being like, how come you guys can't do this? And I remember them saying, you think we've got time for that? But this literally took me 60 seconds. It's just something that they didn't know how to do. So if you learn this, it's a pro hack and you're going to be incredible. Someone's calling me. Hey, Carl speaking. Yeah, that's correct. Well, I'm back. So let's move on to number 56, which is the last SketchUp hack. So what we're looking at here is how to hide everything else apart from the thing that you want to work on. Because sometimes you're working on a SketchUp model and you want to hide away everything else, you know, so you can work on some specific little piece of information, one detail of your model. You don't want to have to try and orbit around your whole model and try and zooming in and just it, it becomes a mess. So what we've got here is a tip or a hack from Learn Upstairs. Oliver Uskarat here um, has provided us with this amazing hack. So let's have a look at this hack. Here's what you got to do. Go to Window, Preferences and Shortcuts. Then on Filter, type in Hide. It's this one right here. Hide rest of the model. Then insert the U key there and click on the plus sign. 
You can obviously use any other key, but for me, the U is perfect. So there you have it, guys. There's eight SketchUp hacks for you to become a pro sketcher upper. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it all the way through to the end. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. While you're down there, leave a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed for future videos, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, take care.